Do you ever feel drowsy driving? Of course we all do. Under pressure of work or delayed by jams, journeys are getting longer and more stressful. But the dangers of dozing at the wheel have been focused on at the UK's biggest conference on the subject. Here at Loughborough University, a team using various simulators have been conducting research into the causes of driver sleepiness and effective solutions for those drivers who won't or can't pull over and get some sleep. People who fall asleep at the wheel always go through a period of increasing sleepiness beforehand, of which they're fully aware. And when you get to this state of particularly fighting sleep, like running down the window, singing a song, turning out the radio, that's the time to stop, get off the road and take a break. In this study, which is the first of its kind, uh, we looked at the effectiveness of a functional energy drink uh, in uh, young adults. And uh, we looked at them in the laboratory, because it's safer to do it in the laboratory than on the, on the road. Uh, and they were made a bit more sleepy because they had less sleep the night before. Uh, and during the course of an afternoon drive in our simulator, we looked at the effectiveness of uh, one versus two cans of an energy drink. And we found that uh, one can was uh, effective in reducing sleepiness for about an hour. But when is the most likely time for drivers to doze off? Driver drowsiness is more common at certain times of the day, uh, particularly in the dead of night, uh, about four to six o'clock in the morning, and again in the middle of the afternoon. This is because we have a natural clock in our bodies telling us when to be awake, when to be asleep, and these are the low points. Uh, and indeed, these are the times when most of these sorts of accidents occur. Driver sleepiness is a very serious issue, and we think now that it counts probably um, one in five deaths on the road, on motorways and A-class roads. Uh, we also found that particular groups are at risk. Young men, those um, people aged under 30, um, they're at risk. They tend to drive late into the night and also get up early and drive in the morning. And we find other occupational groups are, can be risky, such as nurses, cabin crew, um, HGV drivers, shift workers and uh, journalists. It's true that vehicles are safer than ever before, but also the interiors are so well designed and comfortable they could actually be conducive to driver sleepiness. This plus increasing work pressure means that sleeping at the wheel will be an even more important subject as time goes on.